Hey guys, Chicago injury lawyer Scott DeSalvo here, and in today's video, I want to talk about can I get whiplash in my lower back after a rear end car accident? So, um, I was doing, I was actually doing a focus group. I had a case that was going to trial, and uh, so I did a focus group and we had some extra time. And what I do when I do a big focus group and I've got a little bit of extra time with the folks is I'll do short presentations about cases and just ask my little mock jury what they think about the case. And so it actually came up that I had a rear end case with whiplash in the neck and the back, right? And so the guy, um, the one gentleman raised his hand and said, you know, I heard a whiplash for the neck, but I don't believe you can hurt your back like that if you get rear-ended. Um, and it really surprised me. It really surprised me. So I called up a doctor friend of mine and I said, hey, look, what percentage of your rear-end car accident uh, injuries that you, that you treat people, like what percentage of them are neck whiplash versus back whiplash or both? And he told me it's like, just as common to have a lower back injury after car accident than it is to have a neck injury. So, you know, it's obviously like if somebody hits you from the rear, your neck goes back and forward and it snaps like a whip. But what a lot of people don't realize, I mean, in my law practice, almost everybody who gets rear-ended ended up ends up with a bad back too. So um, my doctor friend basically said, well, just imagine like your lower back is sitting on that seat. Now imagine instead of it being a seat sitting in a car, you're sitting in a in one of those like school chairs where your lower back isn't supported. It's just like a piece on your upper back so we could touch your lower back from the back of the chair. Now imagine if I put like a piece of wood there and then hit the piece of wood with a hammer on your low back. And you know, do you think you might get hurt then? And I thought about it and I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, that's the exact same thing that happens when you're in a car. You're sitting, you're in a sitting position. Your lower back is up against the back seat. They hit your bumper and it jolts your car forward at, you know, 80 miles an hour, but just for like a tenth of a second. And your car moves forward maybe a foot. But it's the fact that all a lot of that force, because your lower back is sitting on the seat, all of that force goes right into your lower back. And even though it's padded, it's still like your spine is aligned up and down and it's got those discs. That force hits a disc sideways and it's like the most dangerous kind of injury for a spine because your discs and your vertebrae are up and down and the discs are like shock absorbers for up and down but there's no structural support for side forces. And that's why rear enders cause lots of back injuries. Now, the most common back injury, thank God, is just a sprain strain, you know, a sprain, a sprain where you have, you know, back spasms and it's a muscular and, and nerve injury. You can also go all the way up to a fractured disc we also see those in fall down cases where people fall on their butts after they like slip on ice. I represent a lady that that happened to right now. Um, but you know, you get that lateral force, it can actually move the discs out of line. It can fracture them. It can tear the disc. It can tear the shock absorbers between vertebrae, And then the height between the vertebrae goes down and it starts pinching a nerve. And if it pinches a nerve, Either, it, either with therapy and treatment and traction, it'll go away and not hurt you so much, but you still have that loss of disc height, which makes it more likely for it to be a problem for you in the future. Um, all the way through, therapy and traction doesn't work, and they try injections. And sometimes the injections quiets the pain down so you can heal, but a lot of times you end up with surgery. You end up with a microdiscectomy, you can end up with a fusion. In certain cases, you can end up with a multi-level fusion, which is a very serious, serious surgery. So it's important to understand, and it's important for everyone to understand that a rear-ender car crash can definitely cause a low back injury, even though we think of whiplash being like a neck injury.
and it is, and it can be a serious one too. So hope that information helps you. Hope you and your family are well. Um, if you or a loved one needs a lawyer, please give me a call at 312-500-4500. You can call anytime, night or day, 312-500-4500. And um, if you're not ready to talk to a lawyer, I have great tools for free that gives you more information on how injury cases work. I have the uh, case cash calculator tells you what your case might be worth in 15 seconds flat. I also have the good case calculator tells you whether you might have a good case or a case with some challenges. Again, 100% free, links in the description. And um, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe so you are aware of every time I release a video. I release a couple videos a week, usually. Um, and that's about it. Hope things are going well for you. If they aren't, give me a holler. I'd be happy to hear from you help you out if I can. And other than that, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.